after I got into the working world, I realized that no one's coming to save me and I have to save myself. It was on a particular day about 12 years ago now that I heard about a colleague actually passing away in the office that really confronted me with the no one's coming mentality because this person didn't even retire. They were literally still working. This incident fundamentally changed my attitude towards work life and has gotten me highly motivated in terms of getting my social skills well above where they were. So when I talk about social intelligence, I really mean SQ. And what is social intelligence? Well, you have social awareness. So how aware you are of the social situations that you're in, and this can be at work or in your personal life. And then you have your social facilities. So how effectively you can get things done within your social group. It should be no surprise, but in an engineering or technical organization, the people that have the best professional social networks are the ones that are able to get the most done and are typically sitting up at the top. So I want you to go out and to grow a better, more impactful professional social network. And you're going to do this by using your social intelligence to grow your network over time. This is something that's not going to happen overnight. So you need to consistently show up and you need to have integrity so you do the things that you say you're going to do and act with integrity all the time. And you're going to be reaching out to people on whatever sort of touch time they like. You're going to be listening to what they say they want and do what they say they want. So if you have older colleagues that prefer phone calls over email, you should give them a phone call instead of an email. This sounds crazy to just lay it out like that, but you need to be paying attention to people. So this is the step after you have emotional intelligence so SQ comes after EQ because you need to have better emotional intelligence, which mostly focuses on you. And then you can start having that empathy, looking out and growing your social intelligence. Because if you don't have a good grasp on your own emotions, how are you supposed to empathize and understand others? So as you're growing your social network, whether it be for professional or for a personal social network, you really need to have some reciprocity. So you kind of need to have something of value to give something of value. So this could be a challenge if you're just starting out in your professional career, but just showing up and doing the work consistently and then having gratitude when people do things for you and having this reciprocity, making sure those people can take credit with their management if they're helping you, as long as it's you know professionally appropriate for them to be helping you in the manner that they are, you can really grow a network pretty quickly if you pay attention. Now you can't force things here. We're not trying to say go be heavy handed and force everything because that's not going to lead you to have a good positive reputation that precedes you when you walk into a room. You want to have a positive reputation that precedes you. That's what you're after here. And then you want to be able to have a network large enough that, oh, I have this problem. Oh, cool, I know who to call or I know someone who will know someone to call. That's the goal here, okay? When at work, you want to have this network that can help you get more done. And as you get more done, this will help you get promoted and rise above your peers. Having social intelligence is going to be a perfect first step for you to start continually raising your game above what you thought was possible. Because when it comes down to it, getting the people around you to help you to get things done will allow you to get more done than you could of yourself. So naturally, this will help you grow your career because you're able to get more done. And as you build that network out, you can find someone who can mentor you that's quite a bit higher up. So you have someone that's mentoring you or you have perhaps even go as far as a sponsor. So someone that helps push for you and helps kind of pull you up and make sure that that person doesn't pull the ladder up behind them if you help push them up. So there's a lot going on here. This is an incredibly nuanced topic. I have a lot of other videos on social intelligence. I have an entire playlist. I'll drop the playlist up here, but there's so much to talk about here. And if you're ready to talk about social intelligence, you should check out the link to my Discord below. There's a whole bunch of like-minded people on there. And we talk about social intelligence, emotional intelligence, all sorts of other tech-related things. It's a great community. You should check it out. So that's the hidden link between social skills and career growth. They're actually quite correlated. So you should grow your social skills today and get ahead in your career. Well, let's just jump to the next video and get started on social intelligence now. Get going up there.
or you can go back to IQ and become more technical, but only if you're super social already. We'll see you next time.